Oh my god, it's Ubisoft! No! Don't worry, Jova. Oh, this, this was developed by Obsidian <laughs> Entertainment, not Ubisoft. Besides, Jova, Abortion. Ubisoft Abortion. is just a takeover because Origin is all supposed to be published by THQ, but. Well, yeah. we know how that end, uh, ended up. Welcome I everybody know, I know. to Stop to Careful. welcome everybody to South Park: The Stick of Truth. That's right, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, the first ever South Park RPG. And guess what? This one, unlike other South Park games, actually has Trey Parker and Matt Stone directly involved, writing the entire. If they wrote the entire script, AKA it doesn't suck, but it's actually good. It's a fantastic game, especially in terms of writing. Like, and it's also a great RPG in its own right. Uh, okay, so basically. Uh, South Park The Stick of Truth um, is basically an, R uh, uh, an RPG in the same style as Paper Mario. Um, and uh, it follows a very awesome uh, story, shall we say, as we're about to see. Uh, it's, it's like watching a giant episode of the series, honestly. Yeah, pretty much. Wonderful. Since of course the animation's easy to yeah, nail. Junction with the commentary. <laughs> Alright, so here's... Oh, I love the intro. Oh yeah, the intro's amazing. Much. of Zaran. The humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cartman. For a thousand years the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the drow elf <laughs> armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war are soon to change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man, and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the And yes, this is obviously a little tribute to Ralph Bashki. Yeah, I have Lord of the Rings of Ralph Bashki. Yeah. Soft Park, the stick of truth. All right, everybody. The first thing you'll notice about this game, it is without a, actually. Well, I should wait till after the character customization screen before I say it. But anyway, yeah, we start by creating our own character in typical Western RPG faction. <laughs> okay, so basically, uh, I'm gonna create uh, uh, my own little version of a Soft Park kid. But uh, go ahead, tell you wanna say something? No, no, no. Well, it, it should be noted that. Uh, um... Customizable South Park characters creator <clears throat> programs were a thing like since uh, I don't know 2008. Yeah. So it's very very easy to replicate with a with a game like this. <laughs> also, I should I should point out another thing. Uh, it's not a spoiler anyway, but keep in mind for this kind of game, the entire of the soundtrack, the entirety of the soundtrack is probably the only thing that takes itself completely seriously. And it's I'm not even kidding. And so amazing as a result, because the soundtrack is actually pretty fucking fantastic, I yeah, think. Yeah, it, it sounds like it, it should belong in a, in a, in a very proper uh, Western RPG, like a medieval fantasy setting. Well, my, my take is, my, my fear on that is, uh, South Park's theme, main theme is uh, view adult things through the eyes of a child. And that's why the soundtrack is the way it is, be uh, to basic, because in their minds, they really are in a serious yeah. RPG. So it's supposed <laughs> to set the mood that the, that the kids are going for. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. The, the soundtrack is entirely performed by an orchestra, so in a choir. So that's pretty cool. Hmm. Anyway, basically, I'm trying to find glasses that are like my own. So, oh, here we are. <laughs> nice. I don't know exactly the complete story behind this game, but basically, as I mentioned, it involves uh, the collaboration of uh, the creators of the show themselves. And so... Obsidian. And Obsidian, of course. Anyway, everybody, uh, mm -hmm. the first thing I'll notice about this game. Uh, here's an interesting thing. Believe it or not, this is not an FMV. This is in-game footage. The first, yeah. thing, the first thing you'll notice, this is, without a doubt, the most faithful video game adaptation of another medium. This game literally was animated by the ex oh, and, and, and by the exact same people who, really who make in. the show. It's mm -hmm. well, that's why it's faithful. If they didn't do it, then it really wouldn't be. No, no. But even when you do that, like it's usually, of course, like if you try to replicate Studio Ghibli visuals in a in a game, you always have to do it with all five. with cell shading. You, you sure can possibly have an entire. Attention. I mean, the, the, the time on, and eternity tried to do the full hand drawn thing, and look how that turned out. 
Uh, but this game, however, this game manages to perfectly recreate. It's literally we're literally watching South Park right now. Nice. Hey, How do you like your new room? Everything from the the limited animation to the, all, all the small mannerisms is perfectly. Oh, I love this one. Remember why? We <laughs> moved Basically, we just moved town? into South Park. We're the, we're the new kid, Shiori. Yeah. Uh, by the way, the protagonist is silent, good, uh, but yes. no, but only he seems to be fine with it. Oh yeah, this game takes a lot of jabs at the silent protagonist trope, but we'll yeah. see that. Right, get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. <laughs> so yeah, basically, our, our parents for some reason are like, "Do you remember why we came to this little mountain town?" Basically, basically, there's some kind of reason yeah, why we moved we here. Yeah, we love you too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first quest, the new kid in town. All right, so here we go. That's right, and you, as you can tell, our walking animation is literally like the walking animation in the, in the show. So they, they perfectly recreated the feel and look of the show. Anyway, this is, this is our toy chest, which serves as our um, inventory uh, stash and shit. Anyway. I have to admit, when I first saw that you couldn't pick genders for the character, I was a bit confused, but then again, thinking back to the tone of the show, yeah, it makes sense that you can only pick well, a boy character. I think it makes sense story-wise anyway. Yeah, the direction of the story requires that you play as a boy. It, it, it can work with a girl, unfortunately. True. That, that's pretty much the nature of South Park. It's like, you know, the ultimate boys' fantasy at times. Yeah. Not that there aren't episodes geared towards girls. Of course, there are plenty. It's just, well, South Park is obviously supposed to be a take on the, the typical Backstreet Boys. Now, when it comes to comedy, um, I don't like, like, female comedy or female comedians. With a oh. couple of exceptions. Alex Borstein, well, uh, uh, Alex Borstein I'm guessing? Um, and Sarah Milliken. Okay. Ah, uh, brace yourself, Jeez, you're right, go. Go on outside. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I honestly believe that Alex Borstein is the funniest woman in the world. I'm not even kidding when I say that. <laughs> in that case, I, love, I love Alex Borstein. In that case, you're right, hope for the best with Ghostbusters Free, since that's apparently an all-female cast. Okay, so basically we took our mo uh, money from them, and... Uh, oh yeah, th there's another thing. In typical, in true... Come on, son, okay. get out there. There's Be a lot friends. of detail in this game where there's literally... It wasn't a request, oh. it was a command. Now get out there and make some friends. <laughs> get out! Make some friends. Basically, Shiroi, believe it or not, Facebook is an actual uh, essential mechanic of this game. We make yeah. no, we, I, I we, know. We, I, I have seen um, up until where you meet um, Kyle and everyone. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yes, I have. In that case, all right, let's keep going. Basically, we can open, uh, we press uh, uh, right on D-pad to check our quest log. Clog. And yeah, the new kid in town. Okay, and this is our inventory. Uh, Consumers, health potion, which is our potion. Uh, junk that we can sell for money. Uh, wigs we can wear. Glasses, all that kind of stuff. Basically, we're not stuck with the character we created. We can actually customize them later on. We can even do facial surgery to completely change our face. Yeah. <laughs> There's a special achievement tied to that. Uh, yeah. We can, we, we, can even we can even change our uh, face to become the face of David Hasselhoff. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. And it's literally a, an actual Photoshop um, of uh, David Hasselhoff's face as is seen in the show. <laughs> oh, he's one of my favorite characters in the show, Butters. Hi, Butters. Ah, Butters. Basically, the, basically the, the war of this particular RPG is elves versus humans. Let's try to help him. Hey, no fair. That's cheating. I'm going to tell my mom. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. But... My name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. <laughs> sure. All right. Obviously, my first friend in South Park had to be Butters, the most friendly uh, kid in the entire... Possibly yeah. the only friendly kid in South Park. <laughs> <laughs> you do not belong here. Hey, everybody. There's a new kid playing with us, and me and him are friends. That way, nobody picks on him. Yeah, sure, Butters. Sure. Okay. Butter, Butters' <laughs> Butters' class is the, the, pa he's the paladin. Yeah, What's a paladin for those that don't know? Uh, I'm sorry, Ultima. I, I'm, I, I, I'm, so, I'm sorry for that Ultima offense. Um, okay, so basically a paladin can basically attack, do magic, uh, can do some kind of attack and shit, but can also do healing. It's, it's kind of a mixture of two jobs, but okay. Yep. And here's the, the Grand Wizard. Of course. So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King. 
But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Your backyard. Hey. Oh boy. She right, keeping she right. Uh, the Grand Wizard will hit us if we don't stick to the script. Yeah. So, <laughs> stick to the script. Okay, so let's follow. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> let's try the fucking door. Don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. Oh. oh. <laughs> don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. Well, okay then, I guess. Let's go then. Every level you gain, an upgrade or an ability to your choosing. Thanks, Trent, Trent and Philip. Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody. So it's time to meet the uh, the Grand Wizard's kingdom. Let's see what we can find here. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. <laughs> yeah, I've seen little. I've seen little bits and pieces of this section, but I haven't seen any more than that. Warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. <laughs> and here, of course, is the breathtaking... Or Scott uh, uh, Malkinson. Uh, 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 Princess Kenny. Don't ask why Kenny wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so first thing we can do, there's actually a quest involving Kenny right now. Be careful, oh. the Rock of Insanity holds mysterious powers. The Rock of Insanity. Okay, you're insane now. If you want to be healed, you must gaze at the rock again. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're healed. <laughs> okay, you're insane now. Okay, you're insane now. Okay, you're healed. <laughs> okay, you're insane now. Okay. okay you're healed. The, the pool of vision. Okay. There's nothing to do in the pool of vision. Okay. Uh, basically checking around things. Sorry, uh, talk to him, Scott. My loyalty is as incurable as my diabetes. Oh. The power of diabetes is both a gift and a curse. But mostly a curse. <laughs> <laughs> That'll probably be even more true in this game. No talking, Scott. <laughs> no talking, uh, is he sure? No talking, Shiroi. We can't veer off the script. You may have heard of my deeds at the Battle of Stark's Pod. All right, so both That's Scott and Clyde and, uh, be, uh, became my friends on Sorry, Facebook. Sorry, but the Grand Wizard told me to stick to the script. Yeah. <laughs> That's the line the Grand Wizard gave me. <laughs> All right, uh, let's talk to. Let's see what we can find here. The Wizard Stump. Perhaps one day I will show you what it does. Okay. Some say he who discovers the secret of the Wizard Stump is the master of his own destiny. Oh really? <laughs> the Wizard Stump. Perhaps one day I will okay. show you what it does. Ah, you have located the training area, where our massive army learns to fight. Alright, let's try practicing then. <laughs> <clears throat> nice. Okay. Suck the butters. As court paladin, my job is to deliver the Wizard King's justice, and his mail. Oh. Of course. Hey, Kenny. Or, or Princess Kenny, rather. <laughs> <laughs> he truly let herself go. <laughs> New uh, quest. Okay. Flower, flower for a princess. So basically, the princess want, wants a flower from us. So there's a flower here in, uh, on the left, so why not? <laughs> Alright, here's a flower. There we go. Okay. Give the data foil to Kenny. Alright. There we go. Aww. <laughs> All right. There you go. Quest completed, oh. and now we got. And now we added Kenny on 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 Facebook. Okay, so here we go. Three new friends: <laughs> Kenny, Clyde, and Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. <laughs> all right. That's all, all right. Now that we're done, let's talk to Cartman. Uh, it's the Grand Wizard. You've been sorry. Sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first. Please tell us thy name. Sure. All right. Tell hmm. us thy name. Well, oh, you're playing this on the PS3? Yeah. Yeah, it's the PS3 hmm. version. <coughs> oh. Any particular... Hey, oh, yeah, that's right, that. Region 3. Uh, no. Hey, Pedro, are you hold playing on, the on, American... Hold on, hold on, hold on, Oh, okay. You went to douchebag, is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name douchebag? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Very well, douchebag. Ha! Choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, 
or Jew. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I, love, I like what he says when you. Yeah. A white fighter? Haven't seen a good one of those in a while. <laughs> a mage is like a wizard, only not as good. Hold on. <laughs> fighter has courage, honor, and the ability to kick fucking ass. Awesome. A mage is like a wizard. A white fighter? Haven't seen a good one of those in a while. Uh, that's like a, a mage is like a wizard. A white thief? Never heard of one, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's some good, awesome <laughs> racism. <laughs> okay. You, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. Yeah, for those who haven't seen the show, uh, Carbon can not stand Never Jews. One, but interesting. <clears throat> you have, so I guess it just so happens be that one of his cohorts happens to be a Jew. All right, figure. all right. Uh, as as anyone who knows me knows that I'm a mage at heart when it comes to RPGs, so I'll be a mage. I wonder what special abilities Jews have. I've yet to do that class. Uh, Jovat's the most overpowered class in the entire game. That's all you need to know. Which class? <clears throat> oh, you mean Jew? Uh, yeah. All right, uh, Shiro. Your question was, uh, yeah, I'm playing on the PS3 because uh, the Xbox 360 is not region free, so I can't get it for. Uh, oh no! Also, I was going to ask you playing the European version or the American the version. The American one, obviously. There's no way so I'm going to put up with. There's not because fuck Ubisoft and their censorship. Yeah, you know that, that's, that's why I was asking. Well, well I heard that. Uh, like the, the, oh, hold on. You know what's weird? In hold some, on. it's weird. In some okay. products, the American sure. version is censored, whereas the European version is more hardcore. Yeah, like an and yet prophecy. in products, and yet in other products, it's the American version that's more hardcore, and the European well, Ubisoft version is an European company, censored. so that's probably why. That's something I don't understand because they show South Park here regularly. So why wouldn't? Why would they tone down the game? Because, it's funny, I'm, Shiro, because, because like, well, even Matt to... and Trey Parker themselves addressed this in the European version. There's like this funny anecdote saying, because you, someone in Europe, were apparently too squeamish, we can't show people this scene of... Uh, yeah, complete with a yeah. statue of... Um, hold on, hold on. Today. Oh, one. He's about to say something. Hold on. New kid has checked out everything in my backyard. Hardcore gamer. Wow. Yeah, if we actually <laughs> check every single thing on the shop and on his backyard, he will like say that line. So that's a nice little de detail, piece of detail. Like okay, uh, don't worry everybody, I'm playing the American version, so no no bullshit censorship here. Ah, yeah, it. it's funny though. From uh, what I, I heard that the PC version, of the European PC version doesn't have that. No, the it doesn't. But I prefer playing on console, so I'll play Sure, sure. Oh, All the right. European Steam version doesn't have the censorship? No, it doesn't. Oh, oh, then I have a good version of the game. <laughs> Don't worry, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm tempted to play that, <laughs> but I don't know if I, my PC is powerful enough for it. Oh, I'm pretty sure it is, uh, Teo. The game literally is very weak in terms of requirements. Ah, you have anyway, procured a weapon. Yes. Oh, that's it's one. now time to teach you how to fight. Yeah. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up that. What? King <laughs> what I do? I'm the king clad, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. <laughs> All right, here's our first battle. Okay. Clip. Okay, she right. You're gonna love. You're gonna love the next upcoming joke. So pay attention. I'm gonna kick your ass, Clyde. You have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde. It's like olden times. You have to wait your turn, like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. <laughs> I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. I know it's lame, right. Shiroi, but I that's... don't want to do it like that. I know, I know it's lame, Shiroi, but that's how we're fucking doing it. No. Anyway, well, anyway, anybody who's played the Paper Mario games will know what to expect. Basically, this, uh, even though it's turn-based, it, ha uh, it has a lot of reaction uh, stuff uh, uh, inspired by Paper Mario. Wait, hold on, isn't that more like Mario and Luigi, where you have the reactions that you can use to dodge the attacks? Well, all of Mario's RPGs tend to have that, that, those kind of Granted, I haven't played Sticker Star yet, but... Uh... Uh, Paper Mario's the more turn-based one that's traditional. You can't really avoid the attacks in that game. Whatever, the point Listen is, it's like Mario RPGs. Yeah, turn-based, we're fucking okay. doing it this way because we are. <laughs> Alright, the, the key to, bat to victory is not get hit in the balls, so we have to protect our balls. Ugh. Fuck. No, no, I said protect. Protect your balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gotta protect my Okay, ball. that is neat. You yeah. can defend your more protective so parts, shall we say. So even though it's turn by Shiro, you still have to pay attention to what's going on. Trust me. Right. Not paying oh, attention. I'm not pa if you power. don't pay attention, uh, you'll you'll get punished from it. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Choose Cartman. Will you be king or wizard? Oh, what am I saying? He'd probably say he's both. Well, be, well, of course, like, um, 
I ha I have to pay a service to my king, the Grand Wizard, being a mage at heart. I cannot. It's a fucking Roman candle. Like I said, like I said before, I'm a mage at heart, so I cannot possibly disobey the Grand Wizard. He's my he's my liege. Uh, yep. Okay, if we manage to okay, there we go. I burned Clyde, which is basically the equivalent of this game of, of poison. Basically, when the enemy is burned, he will occasionally um, lose health every turn, just like poison stats in other RPGs. I got that. There we go. My fire. There we go. My fire uh, flame. That's, and that's my fire flame, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. You were all like, "Bean!" The was all like, "Nah, nah." <laughs> okay, okay. You prove yourself worthy, juice bag. Now come inside the war tent, and I shall let you see the relic. All right. Okay. Yay! Let's see the stick of truth. Why not? And I love the music that plays when you see it. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The Stick of Truth. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick, controls the universe. So that's the main rule. That's, so that's the main rule. Whoever has the stick, controls the universe. Of course. The stick of Truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs nine ninety five for the first week. Four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> alarm! Alarm! Someone has sounded the alarm. Alarm! 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 <laughs> what is it? The elves are attacking. Oh shit! Oh, Defensive position. The elves are attacking. Oh shit! The elves are attacking. So obviously, I'm just gonna see what I can find here. Also, nice uh, Game of Thrones uh, uh, reference here. Yeah. So here's the map of South Park according to the Kingdom of Koopa Keep. I love the. Dedication Cartman goes through just to play a game. <laughs> oh, everybody goes to this level of dedication. They are they are kids. Kids are entirely dedicated to their playtime. <clears throat> anyway, crumble paper. Basically, more junk yeah, for so me to sell. But I never built a giant tent with tiki torches in it. Oh, sure. Well, you haven't seen nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if that impresses you, yeah. wait till wait till we get to the climax. <laughs> I can see that making Hold for a neat sequel. And, and, that, and that's right, everybody. There's going to be a sequel to this game yeah. called Fractured Butthole. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah. All right. More mm -hmm. more battle tutorials. <clears throat> and yes, this is the music we're going with, Shiori. Do it, douchebag. Kick these elves asses. <laughs> All right, gotta take my potion. What are you talking about, cheesy poops? Now this is a potion. <laughs> All right. I'm surprised the potion like no isn't KFC <laughs> gravy. Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counter attack. Look at your weak and helpless. Kick the shit out of him. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> now finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King! Aye aye, sir. Alright. <clears throat> go, 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 go! Alright, Dragon's Breath. Mm, let's take out the elf program first. There you go. In true RPG fashion, archers are always weaker. Weak. Yep. There we go. <laughs> There you go. Great job, douchebag. Thank you, Grand Wizard. All right, so Huzzah! so the victor goes to spoils. Basically, every time I kill an enemy, I can take stuff from him. Okay, let's help out uh, Kitty, who's being attacked by a uh, an elf. Someone's phone is ringing. You got this, dude, bag. That's mine. <laughs> Hold it on for a bit. Go ahead. Suck on this. Ah, I block it. For, that guy's just standing there. Go kick his ass. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, let's kick his ass. Why not? Mm. Oh. Ow. <laughs> oh man, he was totally waiting for you, dude. You can't just hit him like that. <laughs> Thanks, no, Cartman, for, uh, for letting us learn the hard way. Yeah. 
Look at that archer hiding behind his friend like a wood. Switch to your arrow, douchebag. Snipe that little bitch. All right. So aside from using my uh, my wand, I can also use my bow of sucking. Sweet. Now you can um, see back. Go for the pink mist. So let's try to defeating the archer. Come on, fight. There we go. Yeah, bitch. That's what you get for fucking with the wizard king. <laughs> Yeah, you say that, but you're not actually helping in any way at all. Well, no, actually, she's right. Uh, he's gonna become a party member later on. Oh, okay. So yeah. he will he will be useful later on. Well, well, well not to mention Shiroi, It's Cartman we're talking about. Great job, douchebag. There you go. Well, Shiroi, he is the the king. That's kind of the whole point of being a king. You have armies to do shit for you. Each one of us must fight as three of them. So yeah, Butters is in trouble, so let's say Butters. But first I gotta hit Kitty because I love this Kitty. See, there you go, Shiroi. <coughs> awesome. <laughs> Alright. That's it. Let's do this, douchebag. Alright, so he's repulsive, which means I cannot use physical attacks, and this guy's shield. Okay, that guy has a shield. Shields are super weak, just hit them with your simplest hit over and over to wear them down quickly. Basically, shields uh, allow him to get hit once without dropping their HP. Hmm. And you can have a total of 9 shields at, this, at, at once. Okay. Man, I could be watching TV right now. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's how you do it! The other elf let his guard down. Now's your chance. Power attack his armor. Oh yeah. Basically, I can either press X to attack normally, but I can also use the square button instead of the X button to do a power attack, which is basically a stronger attack. Ah. I, I won't be able to do a I combo with it, but at least it's a stronger attack. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Let's finish him off with that dragon throw. Oh, actually, now you can hit the guy in the back. Go for oh, the that's right. You're not waiting on me, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, I'm just using the arrows. Yeah, for some reason I thought I would just use the arrows. But, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll finish them off right now. Yeah, Dragon's Breath. There, there you go. Alright. Awesome. You can use the examine option in combat to get more information on the status effects currently on yourself, your body, or an enemy. Basically the Libra spell from our uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah. Drow elves, fall back! Fall back, I say! Yes! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elf! <laughs> <laughs> Suck it! We still control the universe! <laughs> it's God. What? What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. Well... <laughs> You didn't think you that didn't send anyone one, to guard it? <laughs> no, 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 Clyde was supposed to guard it. Oh. Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time. What? No, you can't do that. Yeah, I can. You're banished and lost in time and space. Yeah, go <clears> home, <throat> Clyde. You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, <laughs> you can make me a douchebag, but you sure can't fight. Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, <laughs> now. the stick of truth has been stolen. And we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors. Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well acquainted. <laughs> now go! And send my warriors here! Alright. Let's go with him. Level 2. Which means I unlocked an ability. Alright everybody, uh, nah, so that's my first quest. Uh, I should also mention a thing you kinda miss, Pedro, but I'm pretty sure you know. Um, while Clyde is still owning the shop, uh, the first time you talk to him, he asks you two dollars for, uh, for oh, tips that. and... and no, I can't remember. And if you gave him, he says, he, he, his tips is, don't waste money on tips. Yeah, that's his tip. Don't waste money on tips. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, I supposed to what do you think this my... is, a latent game? I'm supposed to need most of my allowance since that's one of the rules of being a paladin. Anyone know who I'm supposed to give it to? Your king demands his title, paladin. Come talk to me. 
<laughs> of course. <laughs> Why right. not? Say, so, yeah, like in Facebook, I can come here and check new messages uh, by my friends. Okay. Got myself a revive potion, a toy truck. I don't feel like being forced to use Facebook. <laughs> All right, so since I leveled up, I can upgrade. So let's upgrade my fire breath. I think do I, do I upgrade my I think I upgrade my fire breath. Uh, I still need three more friends on Facebook to uh, unlock a new perk. As for the quest, uh, gotta get all um, the other three warriors: Token, Tweak, and Craig. Collect, all right. Basically, showing off the menu. Okay, dragon's okay. breath level two increases the direct damage of all dragon breath hits. There we go. All right, that's pretty much it. You have unlocked the first. Oh yeah, the fast travel flight. Basically, <laughs> Timmy um, uh, has the uh, Timmy Express, where basically every travel flag we find, he can all immediately teleport us to that flag whenever we find a flag. So basically, it's the fast travel option of, uh, of this game. Yes, I'm minding your shop now. You need any weapons or armor? Yeah, Scott is the shopkeeper. You name it, we'll sell it. All right, so since I have still have eighteen dollars to spare, I might as well buy myself some provisions. I do think I but I do think I actually only get it off screen later. Yeah, I do. All right. Uh, all right, everybody. Uh, oh, uh, well, let's check here. Are you still here, douchebag? I told you to go find Token, Craig, and Tweak. Chop chop. <laughs> Are you still here, douchebag? I told you to go find Token, Craig, and Tweak. Chop chop. Chew. <laughs> Yeah thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Kenny. Alright, everybody. In the next part, we'll um, start uh, going on and doing some side stuff. Because trust me, the side stuff in this game has to be seen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, see, see, see ya, everybody. See ya. See ya then.